And our final story. Ah, oh, terrible throw. It's our insurrection update. Jennifer, why don't you start us off with our breaking news? We're going to go back and forth, malcontents. All right. So breaking rep Marjorie Taylor Greene Twitter says she has filed impeachment papers on Joe Biden for what we're not entirely sure. Um, she also is under increasing fire to resign after it was discovered she is a Parkland truther, a Sandy Hook truther and a 9-11 denier. Why? Just why? Way to go, Georgia. Way to go. I mean, we really appreciate Wardock and Ossoff, but... You, you have unleashed this upon the country, Georgia. Yeah, yeah I, I have no words. This is, this is the same woman that wore the censored mask, correct? This is the same woman that wore a censored mask while talking on the floor of the yeah. house. Yes. She's, she's so censored. Um, By the way, yeah. the video that she saw it saying that she was, um, uh, that uh, she... He was filing impeachment. Sure looks like it was done in a basement hallway in a government building, not wearing a mask, which, of course, I'm sure was just, you know, you can't yeah. make me. Yeah. So I'm going to go hide where there's nobody else. Um, yeah. Oh, please let me talk about Lauren Boebert, please. Okay. You know, I, I know. I was going to you know, it's funny when we, we gave it, it was like, oh, you're going to have to start. I know she's one of your favorites. So, yes, you can start with your favorite. So the poster child for stay in school kids, uh, Rep. Lauren Borbert, is facing increasing calls for a full investigation and providing aid and comfort to seditionists. Her tour group on 1521, you remember the one she said she did not um, partake in, is now confirmed, but she says it was only family members. Uh, there are accusations her mother was among the domestic terrorists on 1-6, providing intel and aid to insurrectionists. What a uh, gal. She's a good gal. Oh, good gal. Great American values there. Colorado. <clears throat> Death to America. That's not yep. a pro-life platform for me. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> All right. So I just did a little early Collier quote there. Totally worthless trivia for you, Jennifer. Early Collier of Squidbillies. Um, mm -hmm. He was voiced over, I did say past tense, about, by this guy who goes by a stage name of Unknown Hinson. He is a mm -hmm. comedy writer. Um, he got fired from doing the voice of Early Collier this summer. You know why? Why? Because it turns out he's a complete racist, chud piece of crap, just like the squid that he had played for 15 years on Squidbillies. Wow, that explains why he was so good at it then. <laughs> he, wasn't, he was method acting. Yes. Yes. Jeez. All right. I'll start with the first arrest. We have another long list of arrests. Oh, yeah. Uh, Guy Refit of Texas was arrested for his role in one city insurrection. Um, one of the things that Guy did when he came back was he told his kids that he would murder them if they outed him, saying, you know okay. what happens to traitors. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Um. So when is he accepting his Father of the Year award? Um, I, I, uh, this is somebody that Child Protective Services should be talking to, by the way. Jesus. This is not funny. Um, the, you know what happens to traitors part is a little amusing, but the fact that you're sweating... Well, the guy's going to find out what happens to traitors. <laughs> uh, All right, wow. you get the next one. So a Proud Boy leader and field commander in Washington, D.C. on November 6th after uh, Enrique Torino's arrest was Jesus Rivera of Florida, and he filmed himself storming the Capitol, put it on social media. And guess what, guys? There's consequences for your action. He's arrested. Yeah, that's Joe Biggs. Yes. Joe Biggs got yes. his ass arrested. Oh, that was yes. perfect. Man, right on the lens. All right, William Calhoun, he's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Jennifer, he's a lawyer from Georgia. Uh, he yeah. kicked in Nancy Pelosi's door. He's been arrested and denied bail. The judge indicated oh. that if he didn't respect Capitol Police, he didn't respect the Capitol or the government, he sure wasn't going to respect a bail order from the judge. Wow. Wow. So, wow. Okay. 
I can't even with these people, my goodness. And I just realized I read the one off the wrong page. Um, yeah, what do you even say to that? William Calhoun. That sounds like an old timey president name. It, it, uh, it, 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 he sounds like a, he, he's from Georgia and he's a lawyer. Your Honor, yeah. I'm William Calhoun and I'm here to tell you that this boy here is innocent. He looked uh, at the victim, the victim looked at him crosswise. And you know, here in the state of Georgia, that's illegal. Are you sure he wasn't like opposing counsel to Matlock at one time? Like, <laughs> our Jet X roots are showing, Jennifer. What? Our Jet Z okay. audience just went, "Who the fuck is Matlock?" Yeah, Look it up. This is written. Um, this is written. <laughs> All right, you get the next one after William Cal. Oh. We beat poor William Calhoun into the ground. Yes. Patrick Edward McGahee was arrested for assaulting a Capitol Police officer. In the video, seen millions of times, McGahee beat and pressed the police officer with a riot shield as blood started to come out of the officer's mouth. He's in jail. I, I hope that he is going to look at harsher charges than a protester who broke windows out of a Starbucks in Seattle. Yes, I would. I would hope so. I would definitely hope so. But we'll see. Christopher Kelly of New York, who traveled with the Proud Boys to Washington, D.C., posted photos of himself with the domestic terrorists. He also traveled with his brother, who is a retired New York Police Department officer. Wow. That's a lot to take in. Proud Boys and a, a cop brother. <laughs> it's a family <laughs> affair. <laughs> Apparently. It's like the trifecta. Um, all right. So Samuel Camargo was arrested on four charges. During his interview, he became belligerent with the FBI, questioned their loyalty to the, to the country. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to laugh. And then posted on social media, quote, just finished speaking to an FBI agent. I believe I've been cleared, end quote. <laughs> they didn't say what state he was from. <laughs> I'll bet Florida. I know. <laughs> You're getting the good ones tonight, Jennifer. I'm starting to feel bad. I gave up Lauren Beaufort. Woo! Man. All right. Your turn. All right. Hey, I just told off the FBI and questioned her loyalty to the country, but I think the interview went really well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious Ugh. all right samuel fisher he poised with pictures of the capitol with a gun <laughs> in front of the trump flag and he wrote the caption can't wait to bring a liberal back to this freedom palace he's being held without bail and Jennifer, I'm willing to bet that he's probably very upset because Biden came for his guns. Oh, yeah. Um, and he didn't get to bring a liberal back to his freedom palace. <laughs> That's like a, bad, like a bad pickup line. It's like something that would happen on Tinder. Like, you know, some conservative dude out there going, yeah, I'm looking for a liberal woman to bring back to palace. There you go, guys. If you're looking for a hot day with Jennifer, you can drop this line. I want to bring you back to my liberal pal freedom palace. I want to bring a liberal to my freedom palace. Woo. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. Woo. So, Carl Drash of Mist Michigan put an extensive put up extensive social media posts and pictures about his actions in DC. And is I'm missing a page here. He's arrested. Now arrested. Yes. He's arrested. Oh, yeah. That was it. Jesus Rivera of Florida filmed himself storming the Capitol, put it on social media. Yeah, and Jesus was arrested yesterday. All right. They're getting, you know, oh, wait. Gina looks like she's interesting. Okay. Joseph Foy of Michigan was arrested for attacking a D.C. police officer at the Capitol with a hockey stick. 
This is the one that cracked me up because Michigan oh. and the hockey stick. Yeah. We're storming the Capitol. That's so cliche. Okay. <laughs> My wow. weapon of choice is a hockey stick. Ooh. Emmanuel Jackson was filmed attacking police officers with a metal baseball bat. Amazing that that can get you arrested in the United States of America. I hope that Emmanuel Jackson faces charges equally as harsh as Jake Greenberg is facing um, for using a bat on a Seattle Police Department officer. Um, and that is something, Jennifer, that I'm going to be tracking very closely on how is Jake charged versus these federal yeah. insurrectionists charged. Absolutely. Oh, Gina. Gina you is get in Gina. the who was seen in the Capitol wearing a, a Louis Vuitton sweater, uh, she's so oppressed, um, was also part of the crowd that crushed the police officer with a shield and ripped his mask off. She was heard screaming at the police to, quote, stand down, end quote, and told one officer, quote, you just hurt my fucking leg, end quote. My guess is her and her Louis Vuitton sweater are arrested. Louis Vuitton. I'm oppressed. Who wears Louis Vuitton to an insurrection? Um, God. I bought this at Century 21 in New York. It's Calvin Clyde. Uh, <laughs> wow. You just hurt my fucking leg. <laughs> World's smallest violin just for you. Yeah, no. Okay. Wow. This is a lot. <clears throat> Robert... Geeswin, Geeswine, G I E S W E I N, Geeswine of the Oath Keepers was arrested for assaulting police officers with bear mace and a baseball bat. Here's another one to watch and see. Does he face charges like Jake Greenberg is facing? Oh, I just God. want equal protection it's... under the law, equality, not asking for a lot. Oh, Nicholas. Nicholas Moncada, a 20-year-old fashion student from New York, was arrested after posting selfies of himself outside of Nancy Pelosi's office. He's arrested. Let's hope he doesn't try to use those pictures for his portfolio. And then the last one that we have on the arrest story is an update on Jenna Ryan. Jenna Ryan was the one that uh, <laughs> got invited to go with the private jet and said, yes, I'll go with the private jet because... He's cute, and I want to hook up with him. And then he ended up yeah. hooking up with someone else. And she was the yeah. one that was talking to any camera that someone would stick in her face and said, she deserves a pardon from Donald Trump. Well, none of the insurrectionists got a pardon. And guess what? She does not talk to anybody anymore. Or Jenna. Uh, I don't know if she goes by Gina or Jenna. You could pronounce that name either way. Yeah. Let me play the world's smallest violin there. Um, yeah. She's Jenna, gone quiet. Jenna. I know. No pardon. Didn't get to hook up with the cute dude that she flew to the insurrection with. We just had a rough go, that one. <laughs> you get impeachment. Wait. Impeachment paperwork has not been delivered to the Senate. And both parties are being coy on timing. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, in theory, could deliver to the Senate tomorrow. Uh, McConnell wants to stall hearing until February, go figure, claiming that Trump doesn't have a legal team together. Well, whose fault is that? Because he doesn't pay anybody. Um, I'm out of line on my notes here. Oh, yes, here we go. I knew this one. South Carolina, Butch Bowers was hired by Trump to be his legal representative, Butch Bowers from South Carolina, uh, for the impeachment hearing tonight. Uh, Trump advisor Jason Miller will not say if he will be the only lawyer. Um, and finally, Schumer and McConnell are working on the procedure for an impeachment trial with McConnell working as the minority leader in the role. <clears throat> God, minority that's leader Mitch McConnell, it has such a beautiful ring to it. Did you know that the last president to lose the White House, House and Senate in one term was Herbert Hoover? Yeah, I did know that. But can you imagine how troubling it must be to, for Mitch McConnell to have like his name and minority used in the same breath? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Jennifer wins the internet, ladies and gentlemen. 
I, I sure hope that Butch Bowers got paid in advance because yeah. <laughs> if he thinks he's going to yeah. make money off this gig, he's out of his mind. Yeah. All right, see Ooh. if I can do it again. Go. Oh. You know, you can't see and you could totally say that you made it. Well, no, I'm trying to bounce it off the lens of the camera. So I, they, they know when I don't make it. Okay. All right. Police fire EMS fallout. Uh, we have a long story here about officer. Yes. Police officer. Tam Din Pham of the Houston Police Department. He was arrested yesterday for his involvement in the D.C. riots. He denied that he was anywhere near the Capitol and that he was in Washington, D.C. on January 6th on a business trip. Mm -hmm. When the FBI did a search of his phone, they discovered there wasn't a single picture from January 6th on his phone. So they dug a little deeper and they found all the deleted pictures. Boys and girls that are watching this, if you're in the Capitol, let me explain a couple of things to you. Number one, your phone has a serial number that's unique to your phone. If your phone was on and you were in the Capitol, you were pinging cell towers because the phone system wasn't turned off. That's just a stupid conspiracy. They know exactly where you were because, and they know exactly the phone because of the serial number. Because the serial number goes back to the carrier. And then the GPS data goes back to where you were in the building. And if they don't have the GPS data, they can triangulate your position off of three cell towers. That's number one. Number two, when you delete something off of a phone, it's not deleted. It's kind of like if you just erase an address out of an address book. That doesn't mean that you erase the existence of the building at that address. You just erase the address location. So it's not very hard to go look in the memory and find the shit that you deleted. And he was a cop. Jennifer, he's a cop. Yeah, I read this earlier, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So they found lots of pictures of him in the Capitol. And then he was reminded, being a cop, that perjury is a felony. And he should just tell the truth at this point. He told the truth. So that is a current on-duty Houston police officer that represents the third police officer arrested. You get the next one. Thomas B., a retired New York firefighter, was arrested after sending a relative of his girlfriend selfies of himself inside the Capitol. Bond is set as a, at $100,000, which he miraculously posted. He posted it the same day. Must it's that fat that. New York City Fire Department pension. I get it. Post 9-11, I'm not going to begrudge it. But yeah. dude, you're a disgrace to your uniform and yeah. you're a disgrace to this country. Particularly yep. if you were a firefighter during 9 11. Wow. Mm. Here's the one that's concerning. One out of five of those that have been arrested to date, Jennifer, are current or previous military or law enforcement. Yep. That's one in five. <clears throat> oh! Did you get it? I nailed it. It was just, it was just. Perfect arc, great moment, great moments in Jewish sports history. <laughs> Hava, Havena, Gala, Havena. All right. We're having fun tonight, Jennifer. We're having fun. <laughs> Jennifer, we're right at 90 friggin' minutes. I can't believe it. We have one more thing. We do have Three one more thing. Officers. The three SPD officers. Oh, that's officers. right. Go ahead. You drop it. You do it. We left We left oh. one out. You're right. Yeah, so three SPD officers are now under investigation for uh, whatever their role they played in the insurrection after they turned themselves in. <laughs> yeah. Got, we, we were there. We figured we'd let you know before you figured out we were there. The other thing that was interesting, Como ran this story. Again, Meyerberg, we're saying his name a lot out of OPA. Yeah. Seattle, the city of Seattle, the police department has lowered the bar on where firing would be at. Originally, they were like, if they were at, right, D Diaz did this thing with the first two officers. Well, if they were inside of the Capitol, if they committed any violence act, 
Now what they've said is, if they crossed the barricades and walked on the grounds of the Capitol, out. Because, yeah. oh, that's right, that was trespassing. And Chuds... God. It's a cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. It's been trespassing since 9-11. That lawn has been closed off to the public since 9-11. So it's not like this was some new magical thing to get people in trouble on January 6th. And a Seattle police officer should know better than crossing a police barricade, seeing all of the literal skulls that they've cracked and gassed and et cetera, et cetera, over the last seven months at police barricades, including stuff we've caught on camera. So SPD... On a roll. I think if there's a future insurrection, they should just tell the Seattle Police Department it's all Antifa and fly them to Washington D.C. Problem solved. Yes. Yes. They 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 have all these Trump flags. Those are disguises. Didn't you don't don't you yeah. read the Q stuff? Go get them. Yeah. 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 I don't understand. Why were they so mean to us? <laughs> My favorite, though, is the chick that said she got mace but was rubbing an onion on her face. Oh, yeah. 